So we are now in Koh Samui and today we're going to be going around on our bike. So we've got this moped. Hopefully we won't crash it this time. The second I got on it, I revved it straight into a tree. Straight into a tree. So this lovely tree here. I was sitting on it here and rev. And to be fair, I didn't do that much damage, but I did smash all this here. So, I was just live, laugh, loving. <laughs> Here's the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> it also took us like 20 minutes to figure out how to switch it on. Hi. Traveling is up and down. I don't know, like I just feel a little bit like out of place. So I think I maybe I miss home. Like this is like, maybe it's just dawning on me now that I'm gonna be away from home for six months. We also crashed on my bed, which wasn't good. Like I crashed it into a tree. And, like I think I've been stressed about that because we've had to pay like money for it. And he's been like messaging us for the money. But we already give him money for it and then he's asking for more. Um, so I just think a lot of things are just like getting me anxious right now. Hi, Daddy. Hi. I don't have anything, sorry. I don't have anything. <laughs> Stop, this is gonna be a green crap. <laughs> I miss my dog. We're gonna go to see a waterfall and go hiking up to a viewpoint and then maybe come back down and go to the fisherman's village and Fred's gonna be driving us all around the island so I'm just gonna sit on the back and look pretty. So our bike is really cool. Like, look how cool this bike is. Bike to our coast and Mui. How you feeling Fred? It was alright, yeah. yeah. So far, Fred's driving has been brilliant. He's been doing lots of great moped driving here. Very safe. Except his helmet keeps falling off, which is quite funny. Oh my god. Do you want to pull over and put it on properly? Yeah, it might be. Just pull over here. No one behind us, so you can pull over quickly. My education. Yeah, go by these bikes. Wow! It catches the wind. <laughs> on our way to grandfather and grandmother rocks. A bit weird that they named rocks no. that look like penises and vaginas after their nan and granddads, but I don't it's know. Good. Having a bike is so much better. Success. Oh, well done, Fred. Quite like this little bike of ours. Ah, a toilet. So apparently the rocks here look like willies and vaginas. Which is exciting. Let's go look at some. That, I think we must just leave. Why? Because like, uh, you just don't, you don't like it, right? It's all busy, people going around everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't like Koh Phangan that much because there was just people everywhere. Kind of looks like a willy, but not really. Like it sort of looks like a penis. Like sort of. Like I, thought, a, I thought it was going to be like this to be fair. Like <laughs> at a stretch. Also, like where are the where are the vaginas? Oh, I suppose. I suppose. Where? Like crap. 
that thing. That, that crack in the middle. That big and two rocks that are sitting next to each other. Sorry, someone come here. It clearly was very, very horny because like it just looks like a load of rocks. I think that man's trying to hold it there. Do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we're from the wrong people. Maybe it doesn't look like a bit I can hold it though. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe it's from there because everyone is on that roll. We're gonna go see if from here. It looks more like a penis. Me don't think so though. Okay, for some reason my camera died, but it kind of did look like a penis, but I didn't get it on record, sorry. What was that one? Oh, hang on, do you want to try a bit? This is coconut caramel. Whoa. Well. Thank you. <laughs> I know that is not what I was expecting at all. Well, do to try the sticky rice version? Oh my god. We are being treated here, thank you very much. I quite like it. I prefer the sticky Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This one tastes like the first one. What, what's, what's in this one? Like a pendant, the green one smell, pendant leaves, you know? Oh, leaves. Yeah. Oh, leaves. So this one's healthy mm. then? All healthy then, this one? Remember? <laughs> Here we're on our way to Namueng Waterfall, which was really fun. Is it the traffic lake? The stop at the traffic lake. This is new. It looks so, like, American. Yeah, yeah. Jungle trip. Yeah, that's a jungle Yay! trip. Mm. Nearly made it. We did miss the turn, but again, again, yeah. <laughs> we're in the jungle. I've only really done the left turn. Yeah, right turn. Right turn's quite scary. <laughs> quite scary in the middle of the road. But this road is lovely because I, I see nothing, I hear nothing. I know. Other than my <laughs> see no evil. You um, know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Costa Mui does such good vibes. <laughs> we love Costa Mui. American the Boulevard. <gasps> Elephants! Elephants? Oh, Don't I feel bad. Oh, no. I do feel good about that. That makes me sad. I don't like that at all. Well, we made it. Done. I'm taking that one, but I'm not. Be like, did she ask for less? Uh, no, she didn't. Oh. And then I tried to haggle the second time. I was like 100, and then she was like 150, 150, and I was like. Did you pay it? And then she was like 150, 150. Okay. <laughs> Do we pay you, see it? Proper jungle chicken. So we made it to the waterfall. It's called Namueng Waterfall, and it's very pretty. Now that's what I was expecting. That's a waterfall, baby. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> Box there. First shot. Bam. <laughs> the Galazonga games with the like yeah. shaved head. <laughs> Katniss, you are alive. But District 13 <laughs> is alive and well, and so am I. <laughs> and you thought when she's like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is how we're going to end up in the hospital. 
so wow at this waterfall Fred's about to jump in he's gonna look like a cool bull and then I'm gonna have a go and <laughs> lemon nervous you scared? is it okay? Oh, I'm going to have a go now. Was it scary? I don't think it was so bad. Was it not bad? Will I be okay? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Here we're heading to the second part of the waterfall so there's like two different sections this one was like a 30 minute hike up like with roof and rocks almost like you're rock climbing however my stupid gopro kept on dying so i didn't get a lot of it on record um so sorry about that you to be fair it was just me moaning the whole way up anyway look at this waterfall guys Holy fucking hell! So guys, we're renting Scooby. Oh, Scooby? 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 Scooby for another day. Fair, I didn't check the weather this morning. That's it's Scooby. Last time. On. Okay, so this day we decided to go and see the temples in Koh Samui. We went to see the Big Buddha and we went to see the Chinese temple. They were both really cool to be fair, but we actually ended up being too hot and really, really hungry. So we didn't stay at the temples for long enough. Surviving on the back. So we safely made it to the Big Buddha. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? Cool. And, oh. Well, that was a lovely little mid head ride. I had one crack. Kind of did it. That one was very stress-free. Yeah, it really was. Got myself covered. Where this temple is crazy. Right on the sea as well, which is like location, location, location. <laughs> you like um, Edward off Vampire, um, not Vampire Diaries, Twilight, where he like glimmers the sun. Oh god. Why do you sweat like that? <laughs> oh my god, guys, another hot day. Do you think it's a pretty old temple there? Yeah, I read. I read. Uh, 1979. I so, read 1970. Yeah, I don't remember the date, but I remember it saying it's not like an ancient one. I don't really know what it means in regards to how like important it is. I am dying. Oh my god. Oh. In all these clothes. <laughs> like. Oh my god, I can't do that. We're gonna go find some food. I don't really know what I want to eat. I don't feel like curry again. I've had way too much curry. And we decided to leave Scoopy and try and find food on foot. And we are really regretting our decision because we can't find anywhere to eat and it's so hot. Is that a food over there? I see a Coca-Cola sign. It says Coca-Cola. But then where's the food? So now we're just walking. Hopefully we can find somewhere to eat pretty soon because I am so hungry. Well, we didn't find anywhere to eat. <laughs> and we've walked to the other temple already. So we're just going to go in, have a little look, and then drive to this beach club that we heard about. Breathe through the hunger.
I think it was a fish. Fishy, fishy. Fishy! Oh. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see what I did there? Look at this fishy fish. Fishy, fishy. I think we're pretty done now. We're gonna go eat some food. So we made it to Coco Co Co Town. <laughs> Shout out to Kate Elizabeth. <laughs> and she's right. It is really nice in here. I think she I think she's a spending girl. I think yeah. we're gonna be spending some money but she's got dough. <laughs> Me not so much, but um, I'll pretend for the day. This menu's even fancy. Me gonna get the spaghetti a la pizza messy. Door dog. Are you just even the dog looks professional, we were saying. It's so cute. And after this, yeah. walk around Fisherman's Village and, and then come back to the bike and go. Yeah, come back to Scooby Scooby Doo. Even the water's fancy. <laughs> it's in a glass bottle. So we got elderflower and soda. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's so nice. Yummy. Well, that looks fucking tasty. You got garlic bread? Just waiting for mine now. Yummy. So now we're going to the fisherman's village. It's quite posh, isn't it? Yeah, they said it was fancy resorts and like more laid back atmosphere. It's a little bit more posh, this end of the island. But it's nice. But we did just spend a lot on lunch. <laughs> I think that's one of the most expensive I think one of our most dinners. Expensive lunches. Yeah, lunches and dinners we've had. It was like 1,300 baht, which doesn't sound a lot, but it's like 30 pounds. But between two of us, it's not too bad. I mean, everyone told us Koh Samu is dead, and like I kind of do get it. If you're like solo traveling, it is. But like, there's still like things going on. There's still things open. People eat in places. But I can't imagine if you were solo traveling, it would get a bit lonely. Especially like, because hostels have been quite quiet. So if you hadn't made friends, like, you would just be walking around on your own. I'm enjoying Chris for maybe, really. Boo play tea. Boo, <laughs> boo play tea. Boo play tea. That's from Bayage from the Fishman village. Oh. Oh, oh, so this is it. Okay, so we're walking, we thought we were walking into it, we're actually walking out of it. Okay, so we're going back on ourselves. Do you want the boob lady? Do you like, go on, get one. Treat yourself, treat yourself. Are they all like superheroes? What superhero is that? Well, that's, that's super, Spider-Man. Wolverine, Wonder Woman, Iron Man, Batman. <laughs> What's the next one? Four. Is that four? Uh, yeah, that would be four. That was a four. No, where's this like tried with thing? Captain America. Captain America, the Hulk. <laughs> that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> there seems to be an elephant theme going on in here. All for the shits and giggles. All for the shits and giggles. So I wanted to come on here and just talk about my time in Koh Samui. Honestly, we loved Koh Samui. Um, I've been having a lot of problems with my camera lately and I'm gonna get it sorted. Um, it's just loads of technical things. My camera kept on dying and cutting off while I was trying to vlog Samui. So I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked. We went to Namueng waterfall and you saw the first little one. So there's two of them. You saw the first one. That was amazing. Like you could swim at the bottom of it and stuff. We were jumping off rocks. And then we went to the next one. So there was like another one. And oh my God, like I only got like a five second clip of it at the top before my camera died. But the views from the top of that were insane. And we had Scoopy, which was our 
bike and that was the bike we had after we crashed the other one so <sighs> mopeds here are a little bit tainted for us we we had a little bit of ptsd but scoopy really 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 made us feel better about bikes that bike in our heart the man who rented it to us he was lovely we were staying at a place called charwin beach resort it was very very cheap i'll link it below like we loved it it was like we only had to pay seven pounds a night each but that was split in the room between two so if you're on your own it would have been 14 pounds a night so maybe a bit more expensive if you're a solo traveler but it was right on the beach around chowing beach like which is like the main beach in Koh Samui. Um, and then there was like this bike shop directly in front of it across the road. This man, he was just sitting there, he had three bikes. Like they looked quite retro and we just were like, should we just rent it off him? Only 200 baht for the day. We, we, took it for, we only took it for one day at first, went back and asked for more. And he was honestly so kind and so helpful. And Koh Samui, we loved it. We loved it.